greetings unsettled souls. Extremely unsettled. I didn't even load the theme music for this one. Two charged with locking kittens in a car in North Olmstead. I'm in Ohio, so it's, it's about an hour north of me. From Fox 8 News, the North Olmstead Police Department arrested two people on animal cruelty charges following a report of kittens locked in a hot car. I first heard about this on Mike Trevisano's show, 1100 AM, shout out, hat tip. Police responded to Motel 6 on Lorraine Road on August 21st. According to the caller, five kittens, and there they are. Uh, well, let me go to the screen. I'll light the screen up so you can see it. They're far cuter than I am. According to the caller, five kittens had been put inside a tote bucket with a lid, then placed in a car with the windows up. The caller told police one of the kittens had already died when the officers arrived. What the hell? According to the police report, the temperature inside the car would have been around 125 degrees at the time of the call. The police officer who responded to the scene said he heard several kittens mewing in distress. He saw a tote bucket with a lid on the driver's seat. Placed on top was a full laundry basket. The officer got into the vehicle and found the kittens in the tote. He found four small kittens. They were about two weeks old. According to the report, the officer put the kittens in his police cruiser. At the time, the people believed responsible for the kittens began to arrive back on the motel property, and they were identified as these two lovely individuals. Uh, Cassidy Glide and Robbie Naylor. They told police they locked the kittens in the car so that they could walk to Burger King. Both were placed under arrest for animal cruelty. The kittens were taken to the police department for further care. One kitten died, according to the police. But I got happy pictures here at the end. Don't freak out on me. Dispatchers have adopted the other three kittens. And there they are. Now, as you look at the kittens there, let, 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 me, let me address something. You put them in a tote so that you could go to Burger King. A cat that small, you could put them in the top at the hotel. They can't climb up the side at that age. You put them in the tub, not with any water in it, and you go to Burger King. You put the tote in the bathtub. Take the lid off the tote or put some pop can size holes in it. On the top, cats can't climb the tote. If they do get out of the tote, they're not going to be able to get out of the tub too. No, that's way too intelligent. Let's put the cats in the tote in the car and put the laundry on top. They tried to kill the cats, is what they most likely did. Allegedly. That's what I'm alleging. Yeah, I put it that way. I want to be sued. But let me put something out there real quick. When you have a culture that glamorizes getting yours at any cost, that diminishes the value of all things. Not just human life, all things. I mean, some people let cats like that go at, at uh, farms and they become mousers. I don't know how well that works. I don't advise it. I don't think it's humane. I'm not saying to do it. But I'm saying that's one way people get rid of kittens. No kill shelters. I don't know where a no-kill shelter is. It's the age of the internet. You can quickly look it up on your phone. Say, I got these kittens. I don't know what to do. No-kill shelters. It's probably a better idea than making them mousers. But here's what I'm talking about. Here's what I'm getting at. I'm a bigger picture here. There's a really good chance that these twits didn't... I'm not going to say they don't know what they did. I don't want to make excuses for them. But the gravity of what they did, look at their faces. The gravity of what they did is very likely lost on them. Which I'm not saying give them a slap on the wrist. I'm not saying don't do anything to them. That's not my point. My 
point is we need to look at this and be more than repulsed and move on to the next article and go on with our day. This is a problem because these people are going to get their punishment. They're going to get their, you know, whatever, like in jail time, community service, lectured by the judge, <coughs> yada, yada. But there's a bigger problem, and it's the whole reason I brought this story up. If we continue, and it may already, I'm going to be honest, it may already be too late. I began to wonder. I mean, when I first started this show, I used to think that if people could just be presented with facts, you could turn the ship around. But people like their lies. They like their untruths. So I don't know. I probably wouldn't have even gotten into this if I'd have realized how people choose to believe incorrect views. I probably wouldn't have even bothered to give them the correct views. But if we are going to glamorize getting ours at any cost, then can we be surprised when people like this I don't really want the kittens right now. I put them in their car and they'll probably just go to, they'll probably just, I could just hear one of them saying it. They'll probably just go to sleep. They won't, they'll suffer for a minute. They'll go to sleep and that'll be the end of them. We can deal with it tomorrow. And the level of cruelty probably never even registered. That, my friends, that is what I'm trying to warn you about. Because punishing them as severe as you want it may frighten somebody else from doing it. That's fine. That's good. Let's do that. But if somebody else is only not doing it because they're afraid they're going to get in trouble, not because they truly understand the gravity of something like this, then punishing them isn't going to do anything at all. It needs to happen. But it's not going to do anything at all because we have a much, much bigger problem. Let me know what you think, friends, in the comment line. Get a hold of me. Please hit share, hit subscribe. Let me know if you're watching this on Opera News. I really want to hear that you are. Good night, friends. God bless.